Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Dorn. In our today's video, we will talk about factoring by difference of two squares. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Before we start um, doing factoring some expressions by difference of two squares, let us recall this special product. If we have the binomial a plus b times a minus b, it will give us the product of a squared by minus b squared. So, paano siya nangyari? By distributive property or by FOIL method, we can get this product from these two polynomials. So, let's try a times a, that will give you a squared, and then a times negative b, that is negative ab, and then b times a, that will give you plus ab, and then for b times negative b, that is negative b squared. So simplifying this expression, we can see that a minus negative ab plus ab is equal to zero. And then what remains here is that we have a squared minus b squared in which this is their product. So this one is a pattern for special products wherein ang target natin for today's lesson is what if we are given What if we are given this kind of polynomial expression, a squared minus b squared? How are we going to factor out this kind of problem? Ito nga ang sa inyo. Using this pattern, makakuha natin yung factors na given polynomial. So let's have an example. Let's try having x squared minus 40. Nine. So if we have x squared minus 49, so you need to check if we can apply factoring by difference of two squares. First, you need to check whether the first term and second term are both perfect squares. Okay? Here, x squared is a perfect square and also 49. 49 is also a perfect square. Tapos, you adding operations sa gitna dapat subtraction. Okay, so how can we apply this pattern to factor out x squared minus 49? First thing you need to do is to find the square root of x squared. The square root of x squared is x. So in this pattern, your x squared serves as your a squared. That's why this x is equal to a okay and get the square root of 49 the square root of 49 since this one is a perfect square is 7 and 7 in this given pattern is the same as letter b so following the pattern the quality of a plus b times a minus b we can write our factors as x plus your b which is 7 times a which is x minus your b which is 7 and this is the factor of x squared minus 49. Ganun lang siya kadali. Okay? So let's have another example para mas lalo nyo maintindihan kung paano ba itong ginagawa. Let's try y squared minus 81. So, una natin dito, this is your A, lagyan natin dito, this is your A, and this is your B. So, parang mas madali tayo. Get the square root of Y squared, which is Y, and then get the square root of 81, in which the square root of 81 is definitely equal to 9. Now, to follow this pattern, this is your A, this is your B, you have the factors as y plus 9 times y minus 9. Sir, what if we interchange these operations? Pares lang sila ng y minus 9 times y plus 9. They are just the same. So I hope na sa first two examples natin, 
you already know how to factor out expressions using factoring by difference of two squares. In the next part of our video, I'll be giving you two more difficult examples for us to apply factoring by difference of two squares. Now let us have example number three and example number four to factor out difference of two squares. We have here number three, nine x squared minus 25 b squared and we need to check if we can apply factoring by difference of two squares. 9x squared is a perfect square. 25b squared is a perfect square as well. So we need to apply this pattern. First, get the square root of 9x squared. So we have numbers a variable. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of x squared is x. Okay? And for 25, the square root of 25 b squared, that is 5b. So this is your a and this is your b. So what we are doing now is to write the pattern or follow the pattern in which the factors, let's have here a separation. The factors are 3x plus 5b times times 3x minus 5b. These are the factors of the first example. So let's move on with item number 4. For item number 4, you have 3x squared minus 3y squared. As you can see, these terms are not an example of, are not examples of perfect squares. So, we will try to figure out how to factor this one kasi kaya kaya naman. As you can see, common yung 3. So we can factor out this one as 3 times x squared minus y squared using common monomial factoring. And as you can see, this part of the factor is a perfect, uh, is a difference of two squares. Wherein, we can find the square root of x squared as x and the square root of y squared be equal to y. So given this uh, square roots, we can have the factors of this, uh, this moonet, as x minus y times x plus y. And since we don't time this in us, we need to write here 3. That's why the factors of item number 4, example number 4, is simply 3 times x minus y times 3x plus y. So I hope na natutunan niyo yung examples natin on how to factor out using difference of two squares. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!